Game of Thrones, Season 8, Episode 5, the penultimate episode. Holy shit, what an episode. That was absolutely nuts, completely off the rails. And although I really liked the episode, I thought it was definitely one of the most effective episodes of Game of Thrones ever. I have some problems because some things just didn't feel completely right, so let's break it down, talk about it, because... This episode was jam-packed full of stuff and I wrote down notes for everything that I thought was relevant to talk about. So, at the start of the episode we have the aftermath of last episode with Daenerys getting pissed and you see Missandei getting killed. And so this leads on to next episode and we see Grey Worm is pissed. He's like turning into, you know, just like a literal killing machine essentially. He's not really a human anymore and you see that later in the episode so at one point we get to see that Varys is betrayed by Tyrion and it's not anything too bad I think that makes sense as to why Tyrion would say but it was a wrong decision on Tyrion's part and so Varys gets executed by Daenerys and uh, he talks about how Jon should be king he confronts Jon, Jon knows deep down but he will always bow to his queen, which he's not going to heading into next episode. And so Daenerys is not fit to be the queen and maybe by the end of the episode and by the end of this video we will confirm as to why she's not fit to be queen. So she does the Dracarys and it just didn't really seem right killing Varys at the start of the episode. It didn't seem very motivated, but that's just me, what I was feeling in the moment. So. The slaughter of King's Landing, that's what I'm calling it, that's what happened in this episode. It was jaw-droppingly shocking, did not expect it, I had no idea, they killed so many people, they did so much that I wasn't expecting, and I think it was shocking in all the right ways, I think they did it really well, apart from... I think some motivations are a little bit skewed in this episode, so Daenerys feels like everyone has betrayed her, including Jon, Everyone else, like Varys and Tyrion's betrayed her at points, talking about, you know, Jon being part of her family and so on, and that she said to not tell anyone, so she blames it on Sansa mainly. And so we see Grey Worm, he's going absolutely freaking ham, he's going nuts, and things really start to pick up when we get to the point where Daenerys destroys the Iron Fleet by Drogon, and she's flying in the sky absolutely obliterates everything with his fire and so she massacres everyone in the city basically the golden company are destroyed from behind that was a really great way that they did it because it was totally unexpected they just came from behind obviously we've seen the fire being shot at all these other places she destroyed like all the battlements and people were set on fire and everything and then the golden company were destroyed from behind and that's when the northern army like a mix of them along with the Dothraki and the Unsullied and everything all charge in and everything goes nuts and there's just a massive massacre and at one point later in the episode at the start they don't kill like any women any children they don't kill civilians they only kill the opponents but it's at the point where Grey Worm and Daenerys snap and lose it when they lose their humanity essentially that's the point when everything flips because that's at the point where Grey Worm throws the spear at the Lannisters even though they've surrendered and they've surrendered, they've rung the bell and everything. Daenerys can't listen to the bell essentially, she has made this completely personal and she's doing what she thinks is right. I don't think it's right, I don't think she thinks it's right but you know what she's thinking in her mind at the time. And so I think Grey Worm sort of, it makes sense, but at the same time, doesn't really work for me, I don't think, with Grey Worm losing it, because he's been so reserved and now he's losing his ship. Well, I guess Masande did get killed, so I'm not sure about that, I'm a bit conflicted. And so it's at that point where they kill all the Lannister army, even though they're surrendered, they kill civilians, and that's at the point where you're like, holy shit. Daenerys is fucking mad. She is the Mad Queen, like the Mad King. I did not expect that because obviously they were teasing that she is willing to do all this, but I thought Tyrion and Jon, especially Jon, would actually 
talk her out of doing anything like this, but she massacres everyone. Grey Worm massacres everyone. You see even the northern people actually betraying their cause, and there's at one point, John kills one of his soldiers. John would never do that, and it's really works as a moment because the northern guys are going fucking nuts, and with John killing him, you see that he's gone nuts, but then John is still in the right place. He is the fit king. John is the only one we can trust along with a few of these other characters who haven't lost it. Like Grey Worm's completely lost it. I really wouldn't mind if Grey Worm dies next episode, honestly, because of, you know, the atrocities he committed in this episode. And so, is Daenerys worse than Cersei? I think she is. I think she did so much bad in this episode, so much literal cold-blooded murder to everyone without thinking and I'm obviously conflicted about her feelings as to doing this because I don't think it's completely motivated I think there is obviously partial motivation but it seems a bit wrong and I think the massacre was excellently portrayed it was terrifying that's what it was supposed to be I thought it was great but I wasn't so sure about Daenerys' motivation and Grey Worm's motivation in this. It just seemed a little odd. So she goes rogue as the bells ring and she absolutely loses it and snaps, killing her own armies. And that's a big thing. So with Jon killing one of his own soldiers, that is sort of just a on the ground level version of what Daenerys is doing. Daenerys is fucking killing everyone. She doesn't give a shit. She is raining fire upon every single street, every single house, she's killing everyone with the fire, she's not giving a shit, and I think that's just like a microcosm, well, in terms of what John is doing, compared to what's happening out there, so, yeah, John is definitely the fit king, he must go on, and so, then we get some various POV shots from the streets of what's happening in the episode, and that gives you sort of the connection to the peasants, and that makes you really horrified at the moments where Daenerys is killing all of them because you feel for them, you feel like you're running along with them and that was a great point in the episode and so the northern soldiers are losing their shit along with the Unsullied and everything they are all going absolutely nuts and it's just like what the fuck is happening it was a great episode and a great fight scene however, I have to go back to the Night King like, what was the point in the Night King, really, if you got something as big as this, and something like this, if you just killed the Night King and he's been coming for this long, and the big threat is actually Daenerys. It's a good twist, but I don't think the twist is completely justified. So, we go on and we see Euron actually arrive at the shore, and just so happens Jamie's there, and so they have a fight, Euron is killed, and it was a good fight scene, I really like that fight scene. And we go back earlier in the episode, Arya and the Mountain are going to kill Cersei, and so she's going to kill a queen, but I think next episode, she's going to kill another queen. What queen might that be? I think Daenerys. I think Daenerys has to die. There is no way she doesn't die after what happened this episode. And yes, Daenerys is one of my favorite characters, but I'm happy if she dies after this episode. I think she's great in the episode, but I'm still a bit unsure, but I think she justifiably will get killed next episode. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. So obviously a lot of emotions as to what you think personally, and yeah. So the Hound versus the Mountain, this is something that everyone's been waiting for forever. It was a really great fight, and the payoff was with death, and that was sort of expected, but it's kind of shocking the way they died, and I thought it was kind of poetic actually falling together into the fire as they started. So Arya gets a goodbye with the Hound, and Arya was a great point in this episode because she is sort of that ground level character that we follow and feel for, and we're like, oh shit, is she about to die or what? So yeah, Kyburn dies as well, that was a kind of a shocking scene, that was really quick, just like slam his head down and we see Jamie and Cersei dying. So this bit, I thought they were gonna survive in the cave, so that was shocking. So Cersei, by the point of the end of the episode, she was pushed into a literal cave, but also a cave inside her mind. She's pushed into a corner and she can't think of anything else. And yeah, she dies and so does Jamie. And 
I think their death was very, very good. I thought it was good, but it was shocking because I wasn't expecting it. I thought, you know, maybe Cersei would die next episode. And you actually kind of felt for Cersei. That's the thing, because Jamie's had his redemption and Cersei's nowhere near as bad as Daenerys. You feel for her. So I think they did a really good job with that ending. And so by the end of the episode, you can tell John doesn't trust Daenerys. John is trying to retreat. He's trying to tell the soldiers, don't do this. He even kills one of his soldiers, like I mentioned. And everything's flipping shit. So John is going to have to come and save everyone. And I'm really looking forward to the conclusion in the finale, the final episode ever of Game of Thrones. And so we move on. So just quickly to wrap up this video. So basically what happened is she became the Mad Queen, that's how I see it. So, a bit like the Star Wars quote that I would say, it sort of relates to what, you know, happened in this episode. Like, you were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. You were supposed to bring balance to the Force, not leave it in darkness. That's the way I see it. I feel like she's the Anakin of this story. She was good, she had hope, you know, we really believed in her. And then she took the dark side, she went on that path, and she's irredeemable now. So, yeah, I think that's definitely what happened. So, Danny sacrifices her humanity for the throne, is how I would put it. Jamie gets to be with Cersei and gets his redemption, and is unable to be judged by anyone as they've been hoping for for all these seasons, but that ends up in death. And John knows that he has never been a mistake, he was not the bastard that everyone said he was, he was not useless, he is in fact set to be a king and his beliefs were wrong actually, so yeah, very very poetic in all of these endings and the way people were killed, the way people ended their stories, the way they're setting up the finale in terms of John and Arya mainly and Daenerys, like what the fuck's happening with her, I have no idea, so it seems like all the sort of paths are fulfilled in this episode, although it's very, very bittersweet. So that is it for this video. Wow. Jesus Christ. That episode was terrifying, extremely emotionally draining, and I thought it was really good. Although I was a bit conflicted as to some of the motivation, mainly to do with Daenerys and Grey Worm in this episode. But, you know, I really liked it. It was really intense. John and Arya, definite standouts. So, subscribe for my finale video that should be coming out in the next week or so. I can't wait to talk about it. I'm kind of scared to watch it, if I'm honest. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.